Hey guys, it has been about a month since I've been inside of my hive, so this is going to be the first inspection I've had in quite a while. Uh, I did add, at the suggestion of one of my viewers, a little um, Febreze, uh, not Febreze, uh, what do you call it, the little Swiffer. Uh, clean Swiffer pads uh, to help with hive beetles, um, and I haven't had, that I can tell, any issues. Uh, I did have a little bit of... Um, still the little sugar ants. I think I'm going to order a new one of these um, spacer boards. Just There's been some water damage to it and I think the seals are a little bit weak. Um, but um, so I'm grabbing my little hive tool here. Uh, I do have smoke today, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. In fact, I don't think I probably will. Um, it's a little late in the day and everybody's pretty docile for the most part. <clears throat> so, I also um, have thought about doing a little video series with a Q&A, so if you think that would be interesting or you have any specific questions uh, that you think would be good to review or go over, I would love to have your comments and questions. Clean up a little bit of stuff here. Um, but to do a little Q&A from the community, um, now that I'm actually getting a, a handful of followers and subscribers and things, I'd love to expand the content of what we're doing here just to make it more relevant and more useful. Right. As always, this is going to be hard to do one-handed. Oh, and if you're following the fact that we are from Savannah and we did have the uh, hurricane come through not too long ago. Um, the bees did survive quite nicely, no issues. Um, I had a little bit of water damage, but nothing major. So I'm lifting up on that wire. It is glued in. Goodness. There we go. Let's see if I can get into there with the hive tool. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, I need to come up with a better way to get this camera so that I don't mess up my hive. But in the meantime, goodness all right so we have a few empty cells here which means they may actually be either using this or moving this um one or two bees on the bottom here um, come look at the other side here full full full, full. Um, this is all capped honey, and if I'm not mistaken, it's been capped for a while. They just never finished filling out the sides. And they don't seem to be adding anything. I don't see any open nectar cells right now. They're either just full or empty. Um, but they do seem to be using this honey. So for right now... Just check inside too and make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope. It's all clean. Um, but of the frames, this seems to be the only one that they are using. You see the top of that? They seem to be utilizing. I'm going to set this down on the side here. I've got a little frame holder. Let's give myself a little room to work. So, 
through here. Nothing on that side. That frame's empty. This one still seems to be quite full as well. Let me um, pull that up here. Let's take a look. So, rainbow pattern, empty on the bottom. A few cells in the middle, though, that have been emptied. So I do think they are still finding a way to utilize this. Backside has some as well. I don't know that from the last time I was looking was not full. So they've got some over here as well. Let's take a look at this last frame here. is glued in I'm like hardcore fire. There we go. I don't know what's holding it in, but it is stuck. I'm using my hive tool here. Get into the side. Oh, there is no side there. There we go. Alright. So we got honey over here. And a little bit over here too. Not much, but a little bit. None of this is new nectar, though. I was moving through. This has all been here for a little bit. So, let's move this back over. And back where he goes. And I'll put this back in the hive. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the winter. Because um, you don't leave these honey resources, or you don't leave the flow frame specifically um, in during winter time. Because <clears throat> the bees can't use it. Um, typically once it gets cold there's no room for them. Set my spoker over here. I'm not using it. Um, the bees don't typically use it because they huddle up in the middle of the hive and use the resources there, which, depending on what we see here in just a little bit, um, I gotta see how the resources are in the hive. I may have to drain the flow frame and then feed the honey back to them uh, down in the hive. Or, or using a, a hive feeder. Um, sorry, I'm setting the phone down for a second while I while I crack the there we go crack the seal on the boxes. Now, when I did this last, there was um, quite a lot of extra space in the hive. Um, <clears throat> here, I'm going to pause the video here for a second so I can take this off. <clears throat> 